Hey guys, it's me again, Brian from Echo One USA, and in this video I'm going to show you the basics of Echo One Red Star Wolverine. It's one of my favorite um, Echo One AKs, just because of the folding stock and the blowback design. And it's pretty simple, I just don't like all the Riz. Yes, I have some like that in my personal collection, but then I also have this one, bone stock on the outside. Slightly modded on the inside, and it's just still a badass weapon. So. Let me uh, go through and show you. Basic button, pop it, slides forward, so you can take this off. And a lot of you guys are curious um, how to put the battery in. It's either get a green battery like this or a black one. Notice the spine on the side, which is the wire. If you're holding the gun like so, on the left side, well also it's a matching game, you can see how like the teardrop shape slides in like that and you're good to go. So now when you're running around, it's basically held up here and it's not gonna slide back here in the blowback. So, real quick. Okay, and I guess to take it apart now, because a lot of you guys already have it, love it, and want to upgrade it even more. Let's go through the quick steps. Here we go. First, lift this up. Handguard comes off, like that. And just put it down so you don't get hit on anything when you're working. Lift up a small little lever up front. It's kind of tight. Be gentle with them. Lift it up. Now the way now it moves, wiggles freely. Use a 1.5 tool. Loosen the set screw right there, and you can kind of slide it forward. Out of the way. Okay, now hand guard comes off. Slide that forward. Don't lose this little part. Just goes between here. Now you have pin, pin, and you're going to notice there's a two Allen set screw on the bottom. So, hammer. Go ahead and just tap out first pin. And notice the groove on the side, so it only goes one way. You can flip it, but it's just preferred. And then for this pin, for other AKs like our Red Star Covert and our AKM Wood series, you can just pop this pin out. But for the Wolverine with the blowback, just so it doesn't slide out, you have to take out the bar first. So take this bar out. It's just locked in with a little hole right here. Slide this back, and now you can tap it out and I'll show you why. Because you have the parts like so. So that's why it won't slide out. So if you're beating on this pin trying to get out you're gonna cause damage so careful. Okay. Just wiggle the part off and now you're gonna see two mil allen that up and now you can slide off the whole outer barrel so in case you want to I don't know make yours a contractor one and cut it down <coughs> copycat or you can uh, do whatever okay now before you take off the hop up and everything you're gonna notice hmm, what's this slide the hop up back a little so you can easily grab it and if it's either pressed in there or whatnot you can pop it up and it comes out now if you lose this, or if it like falls out, it's not the end of the world, there's still a spring that presses the hop-up up against the gearbox, which is good. This is like a double feature. And then, triple feature, because this holds it in place and makes it easier to load the mags. So you don't have like the mag lip going up too high. So, go ahead and pop this screw out. Make sure when you're working you have good music to listen to. You don't want to be sitting at the office in silence. So, okay, now you can slide it forward up, oh, and you notice there's a two Phillips screws on either side. So I use the trusty Echo tool. Get in there, and it's a little smaller. One screws out, and weasel this in there. Okay. 
and it's out. Now, you can take out the hop unit, slide the lever back as far as you can, and up and out. Make sure you don't lose the spring, and you can change this out with whatever hop unit you wanna do. But if you do, make sure you change out hop unit with corresponding nozzle, so you have a correct, nice fitting air seal. Put that aside, clean up your workstation a little, Okay, now I have basic gearbox lower body assembly. Oh yeah, safe, full auto, semi. Okay, to take apart the gearbox, you just take out this screw and this, you're gonna notice it's still caught on here because of the blowback. So what you have to do, real simple, is either undo the screws here or do it from here, take this one off and kind of wiggle it out, but I just take off right here and it's pretty easy. But also use this as a rest so you don't put too much pressure on here. Use a small Phillips. You got one little tiny screw. Oh, sliding. That one's sort of stuck in it. Now I can slide back and up. Notice the large block there slides in on the track like so and pulled back by this. Take that out. Two little screws. And now when you notice, you have this sliding bar. This is actually in the gearbox. This part is just on the receiver part, the receiver button, like the other AKs we have. You can take this out and put it aside. And every time the piston moves back, this is pulled back. You can notice the piston's right there, the black piston. So you can change this out. You can get like whatever aftermarket piston you want. Cut a small notch out there, just like other aftermarket um, pistons they're strong enough they can do that. So, so far for mine, I have 20,000 rounds with my stock piston and the Socom Gear LiPo. Uh, I was used all day at the Echo Appreciation Game. Yeah, thanks to one of my friends using it and no problems. So, it's a little piston can take a beating. So, I don't wanna to digress too much. Let me go ahead and keep on checking this apart. Use a pair of pliers or if you have a hex tool, but Small pair of pliers is fine. Go ahead and take this off, loosen it. There's also videos online showing for the VMG and the regular 47. I take this off, this is like the VMG where it's a screw and a large head instead of a cap and a screw. Pop this off. Take this out. Notice how you have flat, 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 flat. All coincide with each other. Put those aside. Phillips on the bottom. Go ahead and take that off and the grip. Don't lose stuff. And now you can slide out the parts like so to change the receiver button for the stock. You have the little spring in there and the little uh, button. You can press and wiggle it through say if you want to change it out or if you want to take it out and also the pin for the hinge if you want to take off the entire stock this part just leave it in here you don't really need to take it out because it's just there so put that aside and here is the gearbox and that's super cool echo one engravings on the side of the gearbox and also one key feature is notice how the wire goes up and around past this little protrusion of metal. If it's on the other side, it will get in the way. So if you're careful when you're putting it back together, make sure it's right here. And also the top harness holds the wires in place and your wires go around and up through this area. Not in the back like a regular 47 with rear wire, 
but kind of in the middle and also you have allowance space on the body so that's how you do it okay just take these off these are just held on a little bit of grease Okay, there's the motors out, and might as well take this off first. Use a flathead. Careful, don't poke yourself. Just pry up a little. Not too much. And yeah, the wire's out now. You can press forward and out. And then for this part, you don't really need to take it out. I'll show you, let me. Also make sure before you open any gearbox that you pull the reversal latch towards you to allow the piston to go forward as much as it can, all the way forward is preferred just so when you open it you don't have the proverbial gearbox explode of the spring and spring that go and then you lose other parts so that's not fun looking for all your spring guide and gears and especially if you have shimming just the way you like it one mistake like that all those shims will fly off go ahead and take the screws off And I always press on the cylinder, have my thumb on the spring guide, up and out like so, and bam. So if you notice this popped out, this is basically sliding, let me take the spring up, sliding so when you have the piston comes back, it's resting, the top is on rest mode, comes back, hits, notice the notch, I'll show you, pulls back, fires, goes all the way forward. This really doesn't take up a lot of battery power or piston strength because spring is not that beefy compared to one for the main AG, which is about 400 or so. And this is the piston. Simple notch, you know, you can get, you can get a stock piston, cut it, and call it a day. So, I'm going to wait for mine to break. So far it hasn't, so I'm kind of excited because it's not breaking, but I'm kind of disappointed because I like to tinker with my guns, so that would be another project I'll show you guys. And that's the basics of the Wolverine, and I guess if you have any other questions, go ahead and hit me up on Facebook. My name is Brian Holt. Uh, say, hey, I want to see this video, or do this, or how do I do this? And I'll go ahead and make a video if time permits. So, Brian from Echo One USA, and thanks for watching.